fellow that makes some of Dutch's Dutchware hammock suspension gehaws by cutting metal with lasers uh, has recently started making a wood stove. Dutch has seen it, likes it a lot, encouraged uh, Tato, as he's known, because he's got a company called Triple A, Triple O, uh, to send me a copy for a review. So um, I've had it out on the trail recently, spent a couple days on the Appalachian Trail, and so put together a review. So we're introducing Tato's uh, Element Wood Stove. Hey, I come at you from the Velvet Rock Shelter on the AT, just outside of Hanover, New Hampshire. Um, I've been on the trail for a couple of days and using a brand new wood stove for a couple of days and thought this would be a fine way to, way to end the, uh, the adventure by doing a review of this stove. It's uh, called the Element. It's made by a fellow who goes by the handle Tato on the hammock forums. It's of the fold-up flat variety, which is very nice, doesn't take up much room in the pack, and has three essential pieces to it. One is a floor that will be about an inch off of the ground, put together by the stove. One is the body of the stove itself. You can see the word element is sketched into the bottom. That's actually going to let some air through. And very nice that the body is hinged, so you don't have to do much assembly. The only assembly you do have to do is to bring the edges around and then uh, put a hinge pin through, and that hinge pin is the third uh, valuable piece. So to put together, it's pretty simple. You lie it out on the ground. Take your floor piece, put it through one tab, bring along a side, there's a slot, put it through another one of the floor tabs, bring up the next side, put it through the uh, floor tab. And then the last one, you're going to have to eyeball a little bit to get it in line. And there it's together. And then if you've done this right, then uh, the holes for the hinge pin have aligned, and you slide that through, and voila, you have an assembled stove interesting things about this. Um, it has holes in the floor that's going to allow air through. Air is going to be able to come through the sketched inward element um, as well. When we have a pot on top, we'll be able to put fuel on this lot, and we'll also be able to uh, put fuel in through this door as well. But it's interesting. It's a door, and we'll say more about that later. Um, the width of the stove from this side to this side is a little over four inches from this side to this side about four inches as well, which means that pots such as the MSR Titan fit very easily and nicely uh, on top of it. The diameter of the Titan is five and a quarter inches, and a variety of the pots that I have I think should work on this just fine. In case you have a smaller pot, the element has accommodations for that. On the top here there are cut four slots, and the uh, stove comes with um, some metal pieces that slot on top of that to create an extra layer that um, is raised up. Now those are little things that I am bound to lose, and so uh, were I to do that, um, I would use instead uh, TI stakes, which fit very nicely in those slots, and uh, then the pot will rip right on top of that. So the best thing to do is to see the stove in action, and I'm in very much need of a cup of tea, so I'm going to fire this thing up and brew myself a cup of tea, and we'll see how this goes found some pine cones on the trail, which are often good fire starter. Some small stuff on top to get things going. And I lift open the door. See, I put in a little newspaper there, which is just what's needed to get the party started. And something that's handy about the open door is when you're getting the fire started, you get more air up and through. And so that's a, that's a nice feature. The thing about pine cones is that they do smoke. You can see we can get a pretty good sized burn going with uh, pretty good sized sticks. Lay down some coals and we'll put the pot on. Something important to notice is that the little tabs on the door come up above the level of the stovetop, which means that um, when we put a pot on, they're going to rest on that, which means that it won't be level. So it would seem that the intent is to use this door uh, to get the fire started, to close the door, to put the top on, 
And, but then we will also be able to later put in larger pieces of wood through the middle, kind of with the door resting on it. So I've got something going here now. So I can put my pot on. Now I can open up the door and put in a larger piece of wood with the tabs. And uh, it looks like that might just stay. I can just feed the larger pieces of wood through here. This is not an idea that's unique to this stove. We've seen it in other ones, but it is a very good idea. One of the questions I had when I first saw this kind of stove that had a big opening on the side where you put in big pieces is whether they would indeed burn off so you could push them in. And uh, I have to admit I was a little skeptical at first, but I have since renounced this skepticism. So I can hear some slow boiling. Water's hot enough for tea, so I'm done. It's tea time. I want to say a little bit now about using the uh, element as a windscreen if you're going to do um, alcohol burn. So it happens that the Snow Peak 600 is just a perfect fit for sitting down in that it doesn't sit on top of that. For that, you need uh, some stakes or those metal pieces. But if you have something like one of the Zelf's um, stoves like so, you can pop that down, and it will be a perfect fit. A larger question is whether a smaller stove, like my felt ring burner, uh, when put inside is too far down. Is that too much of a gap from where the flame comes to the pot could be uh, to be efficient? Well, I'm not sure, but we'll uh, have a look and see. So one experiment does not a science make, but uh, putting in uh, about well, one ounce of fuel into the tin uh, has brought two cups of water to a hard boil. So I don't know about efficiency yet, do my experiments for that, but uh, we have functionality. Another use we can put the stove to is as a windscreen. If you've got uh, something like the MSR, you want to use, uh, say, one of Zelf's stove. The point being that you put the pot right on top of it to have the maximum effort. Uh, that's not going to fit inside, and that's going to be uh, too low. And so what we can do is we can take the stove apart and use it as a windscreen. And it fits up just in there. And that should work just fine. The wind's coming from that direction. So this is a versatile stove, both with wood and alcohol. I want to finish up this review now with a couple of points. First has to do with durability. I took this stove on a Boy Scout camp out about a month ago and burned wood in it continuously for two and a half hours. There was no deformation of the metal that I could find, which says something good about the stainless steel that's used here. Uh, on the other hand, on the AT last week, one of these hinge pins did work itself up by about three quarters of an inch, so I needed to find a piece of rock and bang it down hold it in place. Fortunately, I was in New Hampshire. No shortage of rocks in New Hampshire, so that was not a big deal, uh, but it might be something that Tato wants to look at and how to hold those down a little bit better. Uh, the second thing to do is the weight. The three essential pieces that I showed you here come in at eight and three quarters of an ounce. That's a little bit more than I want to carry on the trail uh, for a wood stove. I'm happier with five ounces. Happily, Tato has uh, put together a titanium version. It should be uh, available at the end of the month. And uh, you better believe that I have one on order because at four and a half ounces, this is a very nice style of stove to be carrying along. And last but certainly not least, um, I just think it's just way cool having the name of the stove etched right inside like that. You're not going to find that in anybody else's product. And, you know, call me strange. I just sort of like that. So uh, that's it for the review. It's a nice stove. I like it. Uh, I encourage you to have a look at Tato's stuff at the website below. And uh, happy trails.